All right, so here we go. We just entered into quick words and uh, the game automatically comes up with an interactive tutorial to make sure that each new user uh, understands and experiences what the game is all about. So the tutorial is asking us to uh, touch and swipe to select all the tiles from the left to the right. So that's what we'll do and we'll spell out the word swipe, ironically enough. Press submit and there you go. You get a positive reinforcement for each uh, completed task within the tutorial. Select all of them from right to left and we'll enter in the word flags. Press submit again and great. All right, so now you want to create a word with the letter being used at the beginning, middle, or end. Your word can be any length, bend its shape, and can progress in any direction except diagonal. So let's uh, add the word Mr. Press submit. There we go. It applied it to the grid. Sweet. All right, so now to be able to steal opponent's letters, your word must overwrite the tile or letter. So we need to be able to uh, at least connect to one letter within that word smart. Um, I'm just going to try not to do it to see what error we bring up, which is that perfect. So now your word must connect to an existing letter, just as I mentioned. So it notifies the user on the mistakes that you make, so it'll correct you and guide you into the doing the proper task. So we're going to try to uh, write the word smart and see if we can apply that. No, exactly. So it's already been used. So we know that we can't apply the same word. Uh, now let's try the word smack. And as you see, once we apply it, the uh, one that was on letter S, M, and A has been changed to a three to indicate that the tiles have been overwritten and captured. Another indicator is that the tiles have gone from a light color to a dark color, as mentioned in the slide. Um, this part of the tutorial exactly reinforces what I just mentioned. Uh, the one changes to a three and the light to a dark tile. This shows all the different tiles that will be available on the grid. They'll all be randomly placed and you can find these in the settings under rules as well as at the end of this tutorial. So the first person to reach 30 points wins the game. Pretty straightforward. Now challenge your friends and have fun. Here's the game lobby. I'm going to go into the life system by pressing the top left icon. You'll have a, a watch video or a share on Facebook button, uh, which you can get two lives and one life, watch a 10 second video or share on Facebook uh, to invite a friend. You can press the close button or uh, you can also press the far right icon, which is a settings icon and does a side scroll transition. Uh, which is very smooth and elegant. We're going to go into the leaderboards now by pressing the icon next to the settings button. And uh, within this, it'll show you who has the most wins to loss ratio, as well as any challenges that'll be available from friends, random individuals. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to invite a friend to play a game right now. Pretty straightforward. Invite a friend, pick a person. You can play randomly with somebody else. There are multiple options. I'm going to choose on the grid where I want to place my word, which is going to be mandates. And as you can see in the top there, uh, it shows as I'm typing in the amount of uh, letters, uh, it'll show my predictive scoring. So it'll, it'll tell me what score I'm going to achieve based on the word I'm going to play. It's an excellent feature because if, if I want to play a word that I want to grab a couple more special tiles to earn some extra points, I can do so uh, in order to win a game. So I've just returned to the game lobby just to see uh, if there's any other moves that I have to make in another game or if I want to invite somebody else to play another game, which I'm going to do and keep a couple games on the go at all times so uh, I can be actively involved. All right, so when I start a new game and I invite somebody, it's my turn. I get a minute on the clock. I got to pick my tiles again to play my word, which is going to be the word fracture. Uh, as you can also see that my predictive scoring on the top is now eight. I will receive eight points for the word I'm about to play. 
Also, the animation for the special tile that I use, which is the bonus tile, is activated. So it shows you and the other player what you've used within that word for a special tile. It also highlights the last word in yellow to separate it from the rest of the letters on the grid in case the grid gets a little bit jumbled up. All right, so I have to wait for my opponent's turn. Going back to the game lobby just to check out to see if uh, there's anything, any words that I have to play, any new game invites. It, it refreshes automatically on its own, but you also have the feature uh, that we built into the game lobby where you can just pull down and it refreshes automatically. So instead of waiting the five to 10 seconds that Game Center uh, sets as a refresh rate, we have given that option uh, to the user. Now you can exit the game completely and uh, go do something else and you'll get a notification through Game Center that it is your move to make. So there's no, there's no need for you to stay within the game and sit here and wait for your turn. As you can see, I've played a lot of games in the last uh, 10 hours. Alright, so I just found out that my opponent has played a word and we're going to go in here and have a look. With my turn, I don't have to rush into anything. I have a minute on the clock. I can make a strategy, look for some letter combinations uh, to form a word that will uh, grant me a few extra points over my opponent. All right, so what I did there is I seen that I could utilize the eye instead of just make, creating my own eye and grabbing a special tile. So I uh, get the extra few points. So now once again, I'm just going to wait for my opponent's turn. I'm going to go back into the game lobby, check out to see if there's anything waiting for me. And there we are. So I have another uh, turn to go. All right, so we just get into the game and it automatically catches me up with what the opponent has played as a word. Uh, highlights it where it's located on the grid. You can see as I drag my finger across the tiles that every tile that I select adds the point it accumulates within my score under my avatar. A very good feature, that predictive scoring. And then it also shows here that the points that I accumulated from that particular word and the points that were deducted from my opponent's score. If I press the icon on the top right, it will give me a little pop-up menu of the played words within that game. So as I'm sitting here waiting for my opponent to play a word, oh, there he goes. So uh, it automatically populates the word that was played by my opponent. And again, here is where I can press the avatar if I miss that screen that popped up to show me the most recent word played and where it was located on the grid. I press the avatar under the timer and it will show that. I jumped the video ahead here in time just to show you because I wanted to, to give you the idea of what happens when you're running out of time, the pressure's on. You can place any word anywhere just to get a few extra points there. It may not be the best move that you make, but at least you're trying to balance out. All right, once again, I'm just going to go back to the game lobby, check out, see if there's any uh, other games that are on the go, and there we go. So I, have a, I can go back into another game and play my word to keep that uh, game on the go. So the last word was played was pandas by my opponent. And again, you can see that it was highlighted for me. I can see where it's on the grid. I can go back and check what the rest of the words were. I have a few seconds to glance again to see uh, where I can play and what the best advantage is going to be for me to gain some extra points. Capture some of his. So I want to try to utilize those high points that are already on the grid to my advantage. So I'm going to play the word Edwards here. And I'm going to capture the E and the D from his word. Which should, you can see the predictive scoring. It's going to give me a total of 25 points. Okay, so I gained 11 points and he lost 5 points during that particular word that I played. I'm just going to return to the game lobby to see if there's any active games that require my attention. Alright, so there is one. I need to make a play on this particular game. Alright, so the score is pretty, pretty neck and neck. 21-22. My opponent played the word time. I can see where it was, so now I got to figure out how to capture some of his tiles and gain some extra points here to take the lead. All right, so I need nine points, and this is where the predictive scoring is going to come in very handy right now. So I'm going to select the tiles on the grid that I need to be able to make the word paste. 
it's going to show me that there it's going to give me a total of 30 points which is going to give me the game bam i just won here's a little preview of some of the themes that come with quick words you can start with uh, applying the dark theme and i'll show you what it looks like on the grid see the bold colors uh, just stand right out off the page and uh, you can play this at night or in the daytime I'm just going to play word uh, lusts here just to finish off this game. See the animations are very smooth and very elegant. So we're back here in the lobby and I'm going to go into the settings again and grab the other theme, the next one on the list, uh, which is winter. And we'll uh, show you what that's going to look like on the grid as well. There you are. You can see the a clear picture of why it's called winter. So here we are back in the settings menu and I'm going to choose the next theme in the list which is uh, the theme called sleek. As you can see the colors are very very vibrant. You just jump right off the screen. This is another theme called Dazzle. And the last theme, which is called Wood. And for obvious reasons, the dark mahogany colors. So that's a look at the game Quick Words. It'll be available on the App Store within the next 10 days. It's free. Download it. Have fun.